And what is up guys? Welcome back to Accelerators Hub for another video. So today it is time for another collection review video. You guys really seem to enjoy the last collection review video featuring Accelerators collection, which was absolutely massive by the way. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, definitely go back and take a look at it. He had some really, really cool items in his. But this time around, we have two collections that we're taking a look at today. The first is from a member of the community in Australia, and the second is a member of the community from Canada. And after these two collections, I think we honestly have at least another two or three collection review submissions that are already lined up. So some of those will probably be in the next collection review video. And if you guys want to see your collections on the Accelerator Sub, shoot me an email at dylanbisby 41 at gmail.com. Send me pictures of your collection, maybe a little couple factoids about it, you know, when you started collecting, how much you think you've spent, the hardest item you've had to find, and uh, just so on and so forth. How long you've been in the community, how you got interested in Acceleracers, feel free to shoot me an email and we will get your collection featured on the Acceleracers Hub, potentially in the next couple collection review videos. Because uh, you guys don't seem to be getting sick of these videos, and uh, as long as you guys are interested, I'll keep making them, because uh, I do love seeing people's collections. After all, these videos always get me hopeful that one day my collection on the wall behind me will be much more extensive and I'll be able to take up the whole wall, maybe have some of those uh, prototype cars, you know, maybe some more custom accelerators, all sorts of cool stuff. And some of the little rare, odd and in-between items, like, you know, the lunch boxes, the pencil cases, just lots of cool stuff that uh, I see from time to time in other people's collections. But let's go ahead and talk about these collections that we're going to be taking a look at today. So each of these collections, neither one is as big as, you know, Accelerisa's or uh, Ryan's, but uh, they both have some really cool items and both collections actually have an item at least, or at least one set of items that uh, has not been featured in any of the other collections. So definitely stay tuned for those. But the first collection we're gonna be looking at today belongs to Will, also known as Shad PW, like Shadow with a P instead of an O. So yeah, Shad PW on Reddit. And he's pretty active in the subreddit. You'll see him interacting from time to time on other people's posts. Super chill guy. But he said he got back into collecting accelerators in early 2019. But being in Australia, he said accelerators was only really aired on TV as singular runs. So it's pretty obscure to the average collector down there. There's just not a ton of accelerators items down there. But uh, so it's actually pretty impressive that he's been able to amass this big of a collection. But like most of us, when he got back into collecting, he started with the 2005 Carter Accelerator sets. And he said he actually managed to complete his complete Teku set before his racing drone set, which is pretty amazing to me, considering that, you know, the three most expensive cars arguably are Teku, the Reverb, Chicane, and Spectite. But he said that uh, for the racing drones, he actually struggled to find an RDO 8 that wasn't listed for like $150 at the time. And uh, it's definitely up around that price these days still. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into Will's collection and check it out. So to get started with Will's collection, first we have a nice little array of World Race Highway 35 cars, including a couple of ones that are a little bit rare these days, such as the Dior 2. I see a Muscle Tone car, which has always been a little bit rare, and a Crazy H, which these days has been shooting through the roof in price. Then next up, we have one of the Acceleracers video packs. This is the one that comes with the Ring of Fire DVD, and it also has a Dior 2 and a Switchback. Then we have one of these special collector edition boxes. I think this one comes with, it looks like the Ballistic and I'm not 100% sure what the other car is, maybe a Power Pistons. I think these special collector edition boxes are super cool. Next up, we have a big lot of Acceleracers and Highway 35 movies, including a World Race VHS tape down in the bottom right corner. I had no idea that, that, was, that it was released onto VHS. For some reason, I thought it was all DVD. Then we move on to the carded 2005 Acceleracers cars. This is a full set of the Metal Maniacs cars. And uh, I actually don't have pictures of the drones, Teku, and Silencer sets, but he does have a full set carded of the 2005 Acceleracers. So in this one, you can definitely see the Pile Driver and the Flathead Fury, the two gems of the Metal Maniacs. Next up, we have a big array of Acceleracers trading cards, including a couple of foils up in the top, like Strato Thruster and Feather Frame. And then in the bottom, we actually have a set of the German Acceleracers cards. At least I'm pretty sure they're German. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if they're German. Somebody let me know down in the comments if you know the ones that are down in that binder down at the bottom. And then this always blows my mind, a full set of 2006 Gen 2 Accelerators on card as well. This is the first half of it. So as you can see, we've got the strip metal column is the second one with the riveted, the RDO2, Power Rage, the Iridium. Then you also have the Realm Series Spectite in that fourth row. These Gen 2 cars are super sweet. And I'm honestly... I can't decide if it's more impressive to get all the Gen 2 cars or the Gen 1 Accelerators cars because uh, both sets definitely have some hard to find cars. It might actually be harder to collect all the Gen 2 cars as we transition to the second slide here because um, the Gen 1 cars have ones that are more expensive like Spectite and Chicane, but the Gen 2 cars, they just don't pop up as frequently with some of them like, you know, the 
the Spectite and the, some of the strip metal power rages and so on and so forth and Team Colors Carbide. They're not as expensive because there's just not as, most people want the Gen 1 cars, I should say, but uh, a full set of Gen 2 cars is very impressive. Then we have some rare loose mint accelerators cars. We got the Drone Baseline, Flathead Fury. I see a Whip Creamer in the top left corner. And we have even more loose mint accelerators. We have the Sinistra, the Shredster, the Drone Flathead Fury, and the Team Color Chicane. Definitely some popular models. It's funny, as a kid, I always was a huge fan of the uh, the Shredster and the Sinistra cars. But I, for some reason, I had forgotten that they came with the Hyperpods. So I didn't know why I liked those two cars so much. And then when I got back into accelerators, I realized that they came with Hyperpods. And I was like, no wonder these cars were so cool. They were technically like accelerators throwing cars. Then, of course, we have the Drone Sweeper. No, com no collection is complete without a sweeper. And then two more of the big boys, a Swamp Beast track set and an Accelodrome track set new in the box. These track sets are definitely not very easy to find, especially with the boxes in such good condition. These look like they're in excellent shape. And now we start getting into the crown jewels of Will's collection. This is a full set of all six hyperpods. So, you know, there's three of these mini hyperpods. But um, there's two types, ones that come with the Acceleracers cars, like the bottom three, which come with the Drift Tech, the RDO6, and the Power Bomb. But then the top three have the Hyperpod exclusive cars, which are Sinistra, Whip Creamer, and Shredster, I believe. And those are super cool cars. And it's pretty rare to find those three Hyperpods these days. So that is no small feat to have all six. And that brings us to the real gem of his collection, I believe, are these three DLX Hyperpods new in the box. These are extremely hard to find. On the bottom, we have the Caterpillar Crawler Hyperpod, also known as the Octorod Hyperpod in the trading card game. In the middle, we have the Rocket Socket Hyperpod. And the top one, uh, I've heard several different names for this one. Nobody seems to know what the true name is. I always call it the Climber Hyperpod, but I've heard it called Crawler and several other things. If you know the real name for it, let me know down in the comments. But this is truly an impressive feat to get all of these Hyperpods, all nine of these. And he has a sweep or two, but those DLX Hyperpods can go for, you know... $250 to $500 on eBay. I don't know if those are true market values, but they're definitely very hard to find. And those boxes look extremely mint. And I think he said he got the Caterpillar Crawler and the Rocket Socket ones for $75 a piece. And then he finally had to uh, shell out like $300 or $250 or something like that for the Climber one. So definitely some super cool items in that collection. That sealed Hyperpod set is absolutely incredible. I know I have my my three mini hyperpods, that's just amazing. He managed to get the other three that had the exclusive cars in them. And he managed to get the three DLX hyperpods. I dream of having those one day, but gosh, I just, these days it would cost me like $500 a pop to get each of those uh, three DLX hyperpods in the package. And I just don't know if I'm willing to do that, but I can still dream. So huge shout out to Will or Shad PW for uh, submitting his collection. Thanks so much for letting us review it. And now let's move on to the second collection. So the second collection we're gonna be looking at today belongs to a Canadian Acceleracers collector named Jacob. He also goes by Zed. And he's also amassed a pretty nice collection of some pretty rare items as well as one item that really blew my mind when I saw it. But, uh, and honestly, on a side note, these international collectors, they really got me thinking. I have the utmost respect for people that have been able to put together collections like this that are in other countries other than the United States, because I know that a lot of eBay sellers typically only ship to the United States. Every now and then you'll find a couple that'll ship out, but uh, normally the international buyer has to pay for shipping and uh, international shipping is so expensive. It just blows my mind that some of these people are able to amass collections like this, because I mean, like, for example, shipping to Canada or Spain will typically run me at least, you know, 20 to maybe $40, depending on the weight and the size of the package. And to pay for that for, you know, and sometimes that's for like, you know, five or six cars and uh, to amass a collection of, you know, 40 plus cars here and there, or trading cars and rare uh, hyperpods and stuff. It just, it's absolutely impressive to me that they're able to do that even with the expenses that come along with shipping. So huge shout out to you international collectors. I have the utmost respect for you guys. And I know that sometimes, you know, the flip side of that, you can find stuff for cheaper in your local markets because there may not be a ton of demand for it, but, uh, for those of you that do export a lot of stuff from the United States to wherever you live, you guys are real fans. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into Jacob's collection. So first up, we have a bunch of carded accelerators, mostly Metal Maniacs and an international edition carded reverb. And this is what I mean by saying reverb might not be as rare as everybody think it is, because just about every collection we do has a carded reverb. It's like the craziest thing. I get it was a fan favorite car, but uh, I just can't believe they sell for so much on eBay when it seems like there's so many of them out there. And moving on, we have a nice little array of Highway 35 World Race Cars. I see a Dior or two in there as well. Then we have some loose mint Highway 35 and Accelerators cars. And there may only be seven cars in this picture, but they are definitely some rare and expensive ones. I see a loose reverb. I see an Aeroflash. 
a Flathead Fury and a Crazy 8s with the spoiler, which amazingly seems to be fairly rare on a loose Crazy 8s. I've seen so many of them that are missing the spoiler. I'm not sure how, if it was just made really weak, but um, definitely rare to see one of those loose with a spoiler on it these days, at least, especially on eBay. And we have an RDO2, of course. Shout out to Hot Wheels Unleashed. Next up, we have some trading cards that he said he opened from packs after some watching some pack opening videos. Glad I inspired you to rip some loose packs that you had. Definitely got some cool pulls here, like Hyper Power Age, High Voltage is definitely a rare vehicle card, and a Shell Skin Foil. And this, in my opinion, is the coolest item in his collection by a mile. This was an actual Highway 35 movie poster that came from a local movie theater. He said his dad got it from the movie theater once they were taking the posters down brought it home and framed it. So this is a full-size movie theater poster. I know a lot of you guys, you know, when you go to the movies, you see all the new releases and all the movies they have currently playing on those big posters. So this was the authentic poster for Highway 35. I know it's the same as the case on the DVD, but it is still very, very cool. And next up, we have a little poster, it looks like, that has a list of all the Highway 35 cars and the drivers, I mean, the, uh, the team leaders and a nice little biography description on each of the team leaders. Definitely a cool little poster. He said he wasn't sure where this poster came from. If anybody knows, once again, go let me know down in the comments. And then he has a nice little array of Hot Wheels PC games, including the World Race game for the PC to wrap it up. So a huge shout out to Jacob for letting us review his collection. Definitely has some really cool items. That uh, movie theater poster of the World Race movie, that is absolutely incredible. I, I had no idea that um, that World Race was even aired in theaters. At least I'm pretty sure that's where he said it was from. It was from a movie theater. But uh, if it was aired in theaters, I had no idea. I thought it went straight to a DVD VHS, you know. So to find out that something like that has been out there this whole time and it looks super sick framed up on the wall. Um, I'm sure somebody could make a, a copy of that pretty easily because I'm pretty sure it's just the cover of, you know, the... It's the same cover that was on the DVDs, but it's so cool that it was an authentic movie theater poster that was framed. That's really sick. So once again, huge shout out to Will and Jacob for letting us review their collections on the channel. That's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Be sure to go submit your collections if you want to see yours on the Accelerator Sub. We got the 700 subscriber giveaway coming probably either Wednesday or Friday. Just depends. Uh, I might have another video to post on Wednesday, but if that doesn't work out, then I'll go ahead and post the giveaway video on Wednesday and we can start moving up towards 750 and the next giveaway. And uh, as you guys know, we are now, I think, three weeks away exactly from Hot Wheels Unleashed being released. And I am super, super stoked to play that game when it comes out. So uh, gonna be a lot of cool stuff coming in the Accelerators community soon, I'm sure. But for now, that's gonna do it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button for me and subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.